What's going on, everybody? A little bit of a late start here today, but not too much bad. <clears throat> uh, really, tons of gap stocks to look at. I mean, I got five stocks that are gapping up four points or more. Um, looks like all of them are up like 10% or something. BBY already breaking out here, but um, the only issue I'm having with this is that it is right into an area of really good resistance. Uh, this 67.50 through 60 was a huge daily level to be trading around. Unfortunately, I broke it pre-market, so I'm not really able to um, trade it like I did Etsy yesterday. But uh, I definitely think that there could be some solid moves here if it wants to get above, looks like 68. We're looking at 68.30. I think 68.80 was the real number to beat here. I mean, we'll see what happens with this guy, if that's even real or not. Wow. What the heck? What's going on? I don't know what that is. Hmm. We got a first candle. I mean, the high is right at where it should be breaking. I'll be looking for longs on it, but... Obviously, anything can happen. Spy's down a little bit today. Uh, we are starting to break underneath the wedge here. Looks like it's making an attempt to come back to 279 here for some kind of retest, but uh, Spy's got a lot of resistance from right where it's at right now to 279. I mean, a little bit above. So, I mean, I'm think I'm thinking we're looking like we're in a good short spot today, but obviously, let's see what happens. Any any shorts usually getting bought up, but uh, I'm starting to see a little more weakness lately. BBY. It very well may blast off. I like TNDM here. What's the spread on it? Yeah, the spread's pretty ugly. Uh oh. I think I missed my chance here. Maybe a good thing I did. It's trying. This might end up being a uh, pretty decent opening range play if it stops. Let's see if I'm going for the opening range play. That's about a hundred, yeah, hundred shares here, just for about a dollar. Unless this gets bought back up here. BY still moving up. High day is almost at 70 here. So it passed pretty much all those points now and it's starting to hold higher. Could end up being a really nice long today. The way it's going. We need to see this move up big here. Yeah, we gotta close in the 70s. Let's yeah, 
We're trying. That's gonna do what that's gonna do, I guess. 6987, stop it underneath. Yep, 100 shares. I'll go for the opening range play here, too. next resistance isn't until 73 so it's got a lot of room right now mm -hmm. not enough for an SMB well I can't say that it is at a whole number here now it's looking like an ugly opening range play. I think I'm going to wait for this thing to base out. TNM can't make up its mind. Those ugly. see if it wants to bounce again. If it wants to do it another time here, I think I got a good reason to go long off of VWAP. <sighs> 200 shares is definitely about as big as I could go. see that. Let me take off. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything to look at right now. I took off these three because I wanted to look at the other ones more. They had a little bit more uh, context about them to worry about. And there's the spy at 279. It'll be kind of coming back here. Not at a super great spot though. Yeah, I don't like Nvidia either. It's in a weird spot. It's really struggling here, though. I'll give it a little bit more time, see what it does. Might end up giving me a trap trader scenario. Tesla is doing exactly what I want to see. I got a really higher time frame conviction here on Tesla at uh, 303. So I'm going to hope and pray that we get down here to view app and it gives me a setup down there. Because Tesla looks amazing for a long on a uh, higher time frame. It's busting out of a big daily triangle right now and I'm looking for the pullback back to that triangle trend line here. I mean, it just it matches up perfectly with the daily level and the trend line.
This bat is really strong right now, too. Not 200. Yeah, don't go yet. Already. It already made its move, though. I mean, this thing's already got a $6 range on it. Because 306 was the high end of the, the uh, next resistance to look at, but past that, it's 309. Spy still moving up. Well, I'll come back when I find a setup. Alright, well, BBY has now. There's Etsy. BBY has told me now that it doesn't want to move any lower here, so it just popped up higher. Uh, looking for a pullback to hold around this 50 ish here. But at the same time, Etsy, Etsy's setting up for a uh, second type, second day type play here. Uh, yesterday's high of day was about this 40 here, and we're uh, just bouncing right off of it right here at VWAP here. Give it another chance here. Obviously a strong open, so it's looking like it still wants to move higher. Um, pretty sure it's still at all-time high. Bounced once here. I'm going to need more than just one test. See if I'm only risking 50 bucks. Tried. I think I'm actually going to switch this. I'm going to start with 150 and then I'll add more as it gets back above upper 90s here. Because we got to. The place to hold is above 70. We're only just coming back to V up for a test here. Really low volume on that. Something to note for sure. There is not too much action here. I might just uh, I might just switch this up completely here, uh, just to break above this. Uh, well, if we start seeing something, I'll hop in on the tape. I need more than that. This obviously has to stop. <laughs> Yesterday's high is what I'm looking at here. Was this level? Nope, that ain't looking too good. Okay, I am looking to BBY here though. This is looking much better. Uh, coming back, holding this 40 level here. 
See, stop would be 30, so risking about 40, so about 150 shares is about all I could do. Look for something in the 70s again, and I'll hop in. Unless it does want to come back to view up here. I was hoping that it would hold above this 40. I just got bought back up pretty quick. hasn't touched view app yet. I think I need to wait for a view app touch here. Regardless of how nice this 40 level looks, view app is just underneath. It's just not crystal clear, so I need to wait for a view app push. Really low volume here. Tell you what, it's starting to hold here. I think I'm gonna start with 50. Just for now here, I will obviously stop out if it gets underneath you. Have the the stop loss for the feeler trade is still the same. It's just kind of a feel. I mean, we'll see if it does want to come back to view app here. I'll look to add. Uh, if it breaks out, then I'll just have to find another spot to add. The stop's gonna be. I mean, if this thing just crashes here and because we're seeing some really low volume here we keep closing above this 45 All right, here we go depending on what this is met with And seller here. So I'm dumping it off. But we're trying to get above him. Got him. Alright, if we're in the 60s, I'm adding this extra 100 here, and stop's gonna be underneath the view app. Because that was our chance to go test it. Looking for upper 50s here. We're basing out down here, which really is not a bad thing. start kicking off here hmm I feel like we're just seeing a bunch of hidden sellers here This is it. This is the turning point here. If I see 50s, I'm in this. Can't ignore the trend lines. Could easily turn into a trap right here. Market's pulling up, might help. All right, so now I got a stop loss, and I got a clear spot to enter. Still in the 50s. 50s I'm looking to add here. So we got a low of 18, so 16's my stop. 
So let's see, if I got 150 shares, I'd be 200 long from about, from probably 50, so 200, yeah, okay, I can do that. We gotta get above, though. We're just not doing it here. Stop for this 50 will be if we if it breaks underneath that. It's trying. We are trying. Too bad, man. Oh, a decent looking setup there. That's why we get started, though. See, it took a, took like a ten dollar hit. That's not gonna hurt anybody. All right, well, BBY, uh, complete fake out here. It came right back to these forties here. If we get into the upper forties, I'm buying another hundred. Still need to get in on this. Stop's gonna be underneath the whole number now. But I can only get a hundred shares because my risk is gonna be too big. <laughs> Spice made a new low day. Yeah, no. I can't take this. I need to wait. Okay, I'm short BBY here. Uh, I just failed reclaiming, trying to reclaim all this stuff here. We're starting to hold underneath of this 40 here. So stop is going to be above this 50. Just doing 100 shares for now. Uh, if I get the chance to add later, sure, I'll do it. Wow, that's going to make a run right for it again. I was just watching the price action up here and it just got completely stuffed. What the hell, dude? Got stuff making a huge volume run right back towards underneath view app here. Thought it might go, but uh, I guess we're seeing another bounce here. Because in the past, whenever I've been taking these triangle trades, usually whenever I get it wrong the first time, there's a great trade in the other direction, and this is looking like a great trade in the other direction here. It had its chance to go higher, started failing and rolling over right here. There it is. All right, well, now i got to wait for pullback. All right, BBY pulled back here. Uh, it's starting to take off a little bit right now. I got close to the 60, but again, just not quite enough. I'll give it a chance for sure. I would like to get in on this. But I want to get in on a good price on a pullback here. Yeah, the 60 would be it. I don't want to see it take off already. Well, this is the point that it should be curling up and going higher. I'm going to need to see some more consolidation underneath now because that was its test to go higher. I don't know if it's going to do it or not. We'll see what happens down here at the 60.
I'll buy a small size in front of it. And I'll add on some more confirmation. I still don't think it's a dead trade yet. The uh, market's been dropping pretty hard, which surely would kind of stunt this move. Yeah, I missed a couple of good shorts. holding this here really doesn't have any issues until maybe 7160 and then 6350 uh, plenty it's struggling here though It's starting to look a little better, but I mean, I, I still it still needs to be holding something, and it's just now getting there. We're having some trouble here at 70. <sighs> Pullback wouldn't hurt. It flashed above, but uh, no transactions up there. We just don't want to seem to dip. here stuck under this would be a good spot to do to work with all right above 70 I'm in this god let's hope I get filled oh nope, I'm filled stops gonna be just underneath that move that it just had so that's 68 He's not a joke, man. <laughs> God. 
God, man, I am completely backwards on this today. I'm literally buying the top and shorting the bottom. Market's finding some strength down here, and it might be one thing to turn. I'm just letting Best Buy go for now. If it stops me out, it stops me out. Jesus, man, it's in a really good spot. Uh, higher time frame context here. It's underneath the trend line. It's breaking down out of a wedge. It had its attempt to move higher, and it's getting stuck underneath this uh, trend line plus a few other things here. I think we just failed to make a new low here, and it came back up, but it failed to make a new high. No, because the uh, the market's not exactly. It's influencing it a little bit here, and I think Baba's actually starting to find some strength here, because the market turned lower again, and uh, Baba didn't have any of that. So I think I might wait for a trap trader situation here, get a little fake test above, and then get my entry. Hmm. Just seeing some interesting stuff right now. trying to make a new high here yeah, it doesn't look like it did I was losing it again here. Making a new low day. Can't help it. I want to see that test. Hasn't touched it yet. Spy's still dropping here. Uh, Bob is just not finding any weakness right now. It's interesting. Because uh, Apple's following it. Apple's following the Spy, and that, uh, that seems to be about it. Everything else is kind of basing low right now. Trying to move higher, it seems.
Well, that's some pretty good volume there. I think it might actually want to hold. Still giving it a little bit. Definitely not over yet. People, I had that breakdown. Came back to view app. Seen some sellers here on the tape too. I mean. See what happens here. I think this could be this could be a good case for the short finally. I'm going for it. Stop's gonna be above here. That's the first hour of the day. Uh got to forty six forty five. Baba isn't quite failing yet. I'm looking for low a day here on Best Buy. Um it had its chance to move higher plenty of times here. It's had its chance to move lower, and it looks like it's confirming it. So now we're just kind of waiting, waiting and seeing. I'm going to have to have that in because I still don't think the Baba trade's dead yet. Tick's getting close to making another new high here. Big buyer just stepped in now. We'll see if he can get taken out. I think if he gets taken out, I think that'll be a good trigger to get in. I'll go 100. Stop would be at 17. I guess he wasn't even there. Super, super low volume up here. If we start getting into the low 90s, I'm in. That's enough for me. Stop's going to be right above. Oh, of course there he is. God, dude. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just not on it right now. Ugh. Trade's still not dead. I mean, again, we still have the chance to get underneath him. I just can't believe he disappeared, then I entered, and then reappeared again. Tick did make new highs here, so things might be changing right now. But uh, just Baba itself just looks so weak up here. There's no volume, yet we are still holding it. Underneath again, and there he is again. Uh, he's getting taken out though. Spice turning lower again here. Look at that. We keep ticking under and then it'll pop back up again. That's bizarre. BBY's still in it, um, sitting break even right now. It's just kind of holding underneath VWAP here. I'll look to add here. I think if we. What is that? That's is just. This is the strangest behavior I've seen. We keep making these new lows, and then all of a sudden, bam, back up, and that buyer's there. Look at that, it happened again. Yeah, well, we were holding above with super low volume. Now we're starting to hold above. Volume's growing a little bit here. It's kind of like a battle right now. Oh, there it was, and I went for it. I saw the 80, and I went for it. We flashed underneath everything, and he's still showing up, still. I don't know. I'm seeing what I want to see on the tape. Uh, it's just the chart kind of keeps throwing me off here a little bit.
definitely not uh, not over yet. We'll see what happens. I mean, as soon as he doesn't appear, kind of like what seems to be happening right here, might have a shot. I got filled at 82. BBY trade, still looking fine. Just kind of drifting under. A high 17 there, so now I'm going to stop up again. I mean, we just keep inching up pennies by pennies. Just bizarre stuff here with Baba. Take a look at BBY again. Didn't make a new low here. Still stuck under VWAP, so I mean, I, there's nothing, nothing wrong yet. I mean, there's no trend lines. Even close to helping here, but we'll see what happens, I guess. Okay, Bob is finally dropping. Jeez, uh, I don't know which stock to watch right now. Stop me out. Just looking at these volume candles here, it's just... Well, I just can't believe what I'm seeing today. Okay, I'm watching Netflix here for some more weakness. The SPY is pulling up. Things are starting to look a little more strong here, but Netflix has been the weakest of all the FANG stocks that have been pulling back up here. So depending on what we see here, I might get a small starter. Just a start. Because the spy still got a long way to go before it completely reverses. And uh, starts looking more bear or bullish than bearish. Selling there. I 
Definitely a good sign. Spy just hit view app and is pulling lower. Alright, well, I did not expect to drop a dollar just off of one test. Um, still waiting. NVIDIA is kind of the same exact situation here. I'm pulling back to a pretty big level. Starting to get a little stuck here. I think NVIDIA might actually be okay to uh, get in a little bit right now. That is a good spot. Is that 35? Yeah. I'm going to take a little bit here. Stop on NVIDIA. It's just going to be another push above this. Still watching Netflix. Spy is bouncing lower. Ticks turning lower right now. Advanced declines turning lower. Alright, Spy's turning lower here. I'm gonna go for this Netflix trade. Five, stop on that, we'll be there. Two. We're starting to look a little, little more weak here. Um, Spy's turning lower here. It's uh, failing to reclaim this at the moment. Tick's also, one of the, one tick didn't make a new high, the other one did, but now the uh, if we're gonna get into some kind of rotation here, it's gonna need to start making a new low and fail to make a new high. Geez, well, the video is already about to stop me out. Still watching. Well, I think there might be a better way to do this. Yes, that is what I want. So now you guys are looking at my screen on the left, not my main screen. Is that right? Yeah. So I got my main screen in front of me here, which I'm going to have to put orders through. But then I got my uh, left screen here so I can still watch the tape and everything of each of them at the same time. I was pulling up here. Nvidia is looking ugly, but um, Netflix is still looking okay. Netflix dropping underneath the range. Alright, ooh, ticks dropping pretty hard right here. We're looking weak again. This might be a spot to add on the video here. Yeah, tick failed to make new highs, it's looking low again. Yeah, okay, we're looking pretty good again. I'm uh underneath eighty, I'm adding fifty again.
Spice trying to recover here, but I'm uh, really liking this volume. I might want to start rolling again. It's got to get above this 278.20. I see 80, I'm clicking it. Eighty on the video that is. There's a big buyer here. Somebody wants to take him out. Yep. Somebody took him. Just added on a video. Uh Netflix. What about Netflix? Netflix is still looking weak. Um, I guess you guys can't really see the spy chart here unless I bring it all the way over. Mm, tape's more important. Let's see what Netflix does here. Netflix might be giving me a, a good situation to add here. Uh, ticks just barely making new lows. Volatility is actually dropping right now, which is interesting. The advanced decline's gone sideways. Pulling up here pretty good. This could be a spot to add. I mean, it's really got to get above the whole number, obviously, if it wants to move higher here. Spice popping a little bit. Looks like it's failing, though. Ticks still making new lows. Right. I'm adding on Netflix here. Stop still above the whole number. Spy just looks like it's getting ready to cave here. Ticks starting to make new lows. Um, the only thing that's a little concerning right now is the volatility. The volatility is dropping right now when I would expect it to be moving up. Tick just really made new lows here. If Spy can stick underneath 12678 here, I think this is going to be the deciding point. The video is looking great. I think the big thing right now is that we need to lose. Spy's got to lose it. Spy's got to lose the whole number. really don't have any trend lines to draw here on these. I mean, maybe that. I suppose that, but we just lost that. Yeah. That wasn't anything. That probably still isn't anything either. This also probably isn't anything.
that's my dipped underneath. Uh, it did get bought back up though. Tick still making new lows, advanced declines turning lower, volatility still dropping. Netflix about to lose the whole number. Spy still looking good for some downside here. Signs are definitely there. Epic's flash underneath the whole number. Got bought back up. Sort of. Netflix struggling here. We really need to uh, break underneath this and start holding it. Yeah, it looks like we're going. Spy is not going though. It's gonna throw things off a bit. Tick still downtrending. It hasn't started its next up move here. Well, I'm confident in the internals, but I'm not too confident in the spy itself here. Uh, it's really, spy's really struggling to uh, stick underneath this here. The volume's lessening too. Just might not have enough oomph behind it with these trades here. I think I'm actually gonna move my stop loss on Netflix to uh, just above this candle here. So that was 361.80. That'll be in. NVIDIA still hasn't given me a spot to move my stop yet, so I'm still holding out for as much as I can. Alright, Spy's pulling up here. Tick's finally starting to move up again. Looks like we're getting another rotation up here. This is the one that matters, though. This is the uh, this is going to be the cycle that makes a difference here. Had one here, looked more bearish here, and now this uh, final attempt of the bulls here. We'll see what happens. Netflix is really throwing me off here. There is hour and a half. Netflix has got to get under eighty six. And there it is. I'm I'm not looking to do anything here until low a day on either of these. Same profit target strategy as usual. Really need to see some more volume on this Netflix push. That's not good. Nvidia's fine. Nvidia's just kinda Doing its thing, I guess. This this needs to grow. This needs to be more. Still got 20 seconds. Ooh, Spy really pulled up here. Well, now I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Now we got tick charts to worry about here, because now tick just took off all of a sudden. My stops are in order. I need to, need to stick with the stops. I mean, Tick's moving up, but uh, Spy's still... A, okay, no, Spy's underneath you up now. Nvidia's still looking okay here. I do believe I have a place to put my new stop, though.
Wow, some weird stuff. Um, all right, well, I got a new stop on NVIDIA. Netflix is still struggling here. The market, what is the market doing right now? Yeah, Netflix needs to start building volume underneath of this whole number. That is really good. The market made its uh, final shot straight up here. Uh, it made the tick charts move up again. Nicey popped up, made a new high, and NASDAQ still sitting underneath. We're still looking okay. Spiders made me a little nervous there for a second. Alright, NVIDIA's at the whole number. Nothing special. Netflix still hasn't really given me a new spot for a stop loss either. Depending on what happens here though, it might be just a good spot to uh, just put it above the whole number there. Okay. Alright. I'm too focused right now. I can't even think about adding. There's no spots to add anywhere here. So uh, Spy just kind of gave up there for a second, had a decent little push down back to that whole number, but the tick charts did not make new lows here. Advanced decline still going sideways. I'm starting to see a little more warning signs here. I definitely don't like that candle on the video either. Almost decision time here, it looks like. Maybe on Netflix here. Netflix should have some struggles here at low day. It should, it should. Hmm, things are looking weird again. Uh, Spy is starting to actually hold a little bit higher. These trades might be nearing their end. Spy again failed to uh, get underneath 278 here. Tick failed to make new lows. Advanced clients going sideways, volatility sideways. Tick did just make new highs here, so depending on what happens in the next couple of minutes, I might uh, get a early exit on these. Close out all, all long. Okay, so I can just right click uh, my positions and get out. The volume looks great. I mean, it's growing in my direction here. It's just a matter of whether or not we are going to lose it or not.
Tesla's strong here. Apple's still pretty weak. Facebook's actually kind of strong. It's obviously always nice to see FANG stocks being on the same side as your trade. Decent pullback here in NVIDIA. Volume's not spectacular on it. Netflix is still looking really good here. Spy is still not reclaiming view app. It didn't touch view app this time. Alright, Spy's at the whole number again here. It's getting ready for another test. It needs to lose it. Tick failed to make new highs. It looks like Netflix actually did touch underneath there. I like this 55 spot, 60-ish on Netflix, but we need to drop more for me to switch it to that. If not, stop is going to be above the whole number here. Stop on Net or Nvidia is still at this 50, depending on the market, of course. That's a shame. <laughs> Spy is uh really <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. So I pulled up pretty strong, good volume, kind of dipped underneath, decent volume here. Pulled back again, good volume, but couldn't hold above. Now we're sitting underneath, again, back at this whole number here. Just can't quite make up our minds yet. So again, back to the internals. Did make a new high, failed to make a new low, failed to make a new high. Trying to make a new low, advanced declines, just kind of going sideways. Volatility still sideways. Tough spot. Nvidia makes a new low here, I need to make another decision. Uh, same with Netflix. Because Netflix should have some issues over here. Hmm. Big buy there in Nvidia. Spy still sideways for the moment. And it's pulling up now. Spy's pulling up here, so is Tick. Big squeeze on the video. Trade's not dead. I'm still waiting. All right, now the trade's dead. Netflix bust above. I'm out. Stop is in. Switch this back then.
can't get above it. This may be a spot to add here if we keep consolidating underneath this for a while because the spy is starting to fail. The spy is cooling back the view app right now. It obviously needs to hold above. I can't add. It's, it'd be a bad ad. Yeah, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is definitely done. There, there's no trades in NVIDIA anymore. a solid spot for a stop loss. The market's holding it. Could be the end here in a second. I just need to get out. I'm seeing warning signs, so I'm thinking the trade's going to be dead here in a second. And I mean, if it does get above this, uh, yeah, right there. All right, nothing for now. All right, the market's starting to turn here. I uh, think I'm getting more short signals again. I'm thinking I'm going to get a starter here on Nvidia and Netflix again here. Because the tick's still making new lows, advanced decline's starting to turn again. The spy's just not, the spy's just not doing it. I'm going for this. Stop is going to be above 15. And on the same situation with the video here, this is a pretty big daily level that it needs to be holding above, and it's just same as the spy. It's just kind of struggling here. Uh, probably the exact same. Uh, look for. I don't know, NVIDIA is a little stronger than Netflix. Netflix is still super weak. But the thing with NVIDIA is we're starting to get above all this stuff here. So NVIDIA might not actually be that great for a re-entry. It, it might just be Netflix. I'll keep an eye on it, but I think Netflix is what we're sticking with for sure here.
is, I guess. All right, taking a quick look at BBY here. Uh, depending on what it does right now, it's been holding above this level for some time here. Uh, previous high day, just now breaking underneath it here. If we get bought back up, uh, looking to get long, probably upper 40s. So far, stop was at 24, 23. Down 22. Unless this gets bought back up. Okay, Bob was breaking out here finally. Uh, starting to get above this triangle, pulled back a little bit, and then it really shot off here. Saw some great volume going into this. Uh, as soon as we hit 60, I'm buying 50. Stop loss will be, I'm going to buy 100. Stop loss will be underneath this uh, 30 here. Spread's not too bad. It's low about 29, so 26 is on it. Market's still strong. Uh, ticks trending higher, advanced decline higher, VIX is falling, SPY is still creeping up. Definitely looking fine. I might as well have it in. Really liking this trade. Uh, Baba was in a big, big wedge here. Uh, just totally failed it. Started consolidating here. You can see this has been a huge um, point of control area here. That's what these blue lines are here. So if we start getting above this, which coincidentally was yesterday's close, a uh, really good shot here of retesting this upper trend line. Just need us to pull back here. Saw some great volume going off into this move. And Netflix has just been a sideways mess. It's the weirdest thing. Netflix is right at uh, the bottom trend line for its wedge it's been building. And uh, it's just holding it and holding it and holding it. But it's not really getting above anything. So I don't really know if there's going to be a good trade on it or not. See the sixty. <sighs> I guess we'll get there when we get there. Okay, I might be getting a trading signal here. The SPY looks like it's topping out around that uh, 279 here. Ticks just now starting to make new lows. Advanced client's going sideways still. VIX kind of going sideways too. But NASDAQ tick is losing it here. And Netflix finally broke underneath of this wedge triangle that it's been making. Um, just thinking that this could be the turning point here. If I wanted to get in, stop would be at 361, 15, 13. 
12. I want to see what it does here. Uh, if it wants to pull back to about 70, that's what I'm looking at. See where we get. Might have to come back to this. Okay, starting to see some uh, warning signs here that the market might be turning around right now. Spy just still hovering around this 279 here. Starting to see some big red volume coming into it here. If it loses, uh, I guess that's 90. If it gets under 90 here, it's going to start making a uh, a new low and start breaking the uptrend here. At the same time, uh, ticks start failing to make new highs, maybe starting to make new lows here. I have to keep an eye on advanced decline. It's still ripping up. Netflix seeing some volume coming into it here. I'm just still waiting for something. All right, Netflix back up here, looking for this test above the whole number. Alright, Netflix is getting really close here. Uh, instead of looking for a breakout above this, we keep stepping lower here, and now it's looking like 90. So now I'm waiting to see a test above 90 fail. Market is showing signs of finally rolling over here. This could be the time. Looking pretty good. The market's making me want to get in on an early entry here. But uh, the spread's just just right on the edge of everything that I need to see here. I mean, each time I kept waiting for a test above this, we never got it. Ended up testing above this, or testing to it. Never got a test above it. One way or another here, something's going to happen. I mean, you just see the volume bars here. It's growing on the downside. I mean, a little bit there, but nothing happened. Base clients turn lower. Volatility still dropping. Ticks making new lows. Come on. Ninety. Bunch of sellers here. All right, we come off this and we get back into the sixties. I'm taking it. Market's looking weaker and weaker here, so I think we got a real shot of finally making a move. What does that get? I got ninety, ninety-four. Yeah, stop definitely above the whole number. So I can go 150 shares here. See what happens. Yeah. I better just stick to the market. spread is definitely not where I want to see it. I mean, the spread is right where the uh, entries matter the most. Spy a big red candle here. If we see something.
taking this stock's gonna be above. Got filled at 68. Which one's me? Not even in there. Stop above the whole number. This buy's looking good here. I mean, I waited and I waited and I waited, and uh, this looks like it's gonna be the moment. Vic's starting to rise here. Don't want to see big buyers here. Checks. Was looking at Tesla. Looks like it's failing this breakdown here. Wanted to pop back up, but wouldn't make much sense to go for a short and a long at the same time. Though Tesla has been trading on its own today. So, I mean, we'll see. Not thrilled about the volume. Another big buyer here. Mm. Still sticking with the stop, so it is what it is.
Could be Squeeze City, so we'll need to have it in. I guess it is lunchtime, so it's to be expected. And yeah, big buyer there. And yeah, now he's gone. Weird. Take making new highs, advanced client turning around. Yeah. Seeing warning signs. Um, and we out. Yeah, everything just, uh, what once looked pretty good, uh, just totally reversed again. I don't know. I mean, it's late in the day, I guess it was meant to be. Uh, I will be back in a second. All right, so review time. I'm going to start with BBY here. I definitely traded this one way too much. Um, let's look here. So the first trade I took on it was 50 shares on a pullback here. So... Strong open, came down, started consolidating around view app, got above view app, came back here and was held, holding this uh, 6940 level. If I remember right, 6940 was a daily level too. We got 6910 as a level. So 69. Yeah, right at 69.10 here. But we were holding above 69.40. Which, I mean, could have could have counted for something in there. But uh, let's see. Came back, pulled back, uh, kind of stuck around here. Bounced again, and uh, as it made a new low underneath this, I got in small size. I uh, only added 50 shares here. There was no way I was going uh, full size from the beginning. I think I was just adding into it. I think that's a mistake, though. I think uh, with these SMB VWAP bounce plays, you know, none of them, none of them look like this. They're they're always roll over one, two, go. This is uh, this is just chop. This isn't really, it's not really anything. Um, I think the FOMO kind of got me again today. It's just really, it's just really not a smart trade. I'll have to go over the video and rewatch it. But then we started uh, consolidating underneath this 40 here. You know, we get that break above. And I saw some big volume coming into it, so I went for the short then. Again, um, it's just sideways here. There's not... I mean, if I'm looking for the triangle breakdown here, you know, this is the point that it's supposed to be breaking from. It's not supposed to come back to these levels at all. But uh, I went for it, and it, um, I mean, it's not a... It's not a super terrible looking trade. I mean, it's also just not clean. I mean, I definitely see it, but... I don't know. Is what it is. Ended up coming back here again, setting up for... Ended up... Let's see. God, this really is just an ugly mess again. I remember just being in the middle of this trade here. I'm looking. I'm looking at levels more than I am trend lines, and I usually, whenever I make that mistake, I know I find myself stuck in the middle of these triangles, which basically we're seeing exactly here. I uh, made a nice little bull flag here. Kind of pulled back, held the 60, came up again, started consolidating, popped above the 70, and it looks like that's when I got in on it, and uh, shortly stopped out underneath after that failed, and then it started selling off pretty good here. Get back underneath. So again. So again, I sold here, and then I again went for the short. So now we got underneath off a good volume here, bounced off of view app once, bounced off of it twice, and then as it came back down again, went for the short. Nothing really happened, ended up stopping out just above, so really I just could not read it well. I mean, it's it's another one of these uh, sideways traders that, you know, 
just doesn't move. I mean, I was on. I I mean, I literally bought the tops and I sold the bottoms on pretty much all of these here. Just really ugly trading. I'll I'll have to go back over the video and see what I was thinking during all that. Baba was pretty decent looking short to start. Um, so Baba here was looking at it at 182. So originally Baba was stuck in this big wedge here. Uh, right from the open here, totally failed, came right underneath that wedge and started coming back to this 182 here. So I mean this is a really nice spot because this wedge here, or not the wedge, the, uh, the trend line here, Plus added case to uh, just kind of you know, just being able to tell, you know, it was a breakdown point. This is where it broke down the hardest from coming back to that level, you know, looking for like a trap trader kind of case here. So it did pop above, went sideways a little bit. Um, only took 100, ended up uh, putting just one penny above, and then I added again as we broke underneath here. I remember there was a really funny, like, buyer situation here where... Uh, We'd flash under, and then we'd get back above, and then he'd be there, and then we'd flash under, get back above, and he'd be there again. And uh, just didn't end up working out. So, I mean, Baba wasn't a terrible trade. Uh, the BBY again. And then I took NVIDIA and Netflix here. So, NVIDIA, originally, I wanted to take NVIDIA over, I think it was in here, but I missed it somewhere in here. I missed a short, a short that actually really worked on it. NVIDIA was really nice, though, so... Overall, another triangle, just failure. You can see it's down trading again. Came underneath pretty hard here. This uh, 155.15 level is just a previous pivot point here, so I was waiting for some kind of reversal to that. So 155 broke down here, kind of just tapped it once, and then that was the end of it. Either way, it came back here, looked like it was struggling again up here. Uh, so I started in pretty small, just looking for some more continuation. At the same time... 10.45 so 10.45 looks like the spy was coming off of view app so I mean the chance was definitely there for this to be a continued short here so bounced around failed to make a new high again up to this uh, supply zone here and then uh, as we made a new low here I added again had some really nice moves um, I ended up getting squeezed out pretty hard here I think it was on this candle right here. No, it had to have been this candle. So at 11.09, we just get that big squeeze and um, just gets me out of it here. I started. I remember seeing warning signs. I mean, this is this is a whole number, and, you know, we failed to get under it, made a new high here, failed to make a new low, failed to make a new low. I think the, don't even think these touched the whole number. Yeah, this one didn't, and then we get this big squeeze. I think the best thing I could have done on this trade was just get out earlier. Uh, I didn't need to wait all the way until here. I mean... The signs of the market were showing me that it was time to get out. And obviously the squeeze happened, and then I ended up taking a uh, much smaller win than really I needed to. I think I was only short like 100 shares. Probably could have saved myself maybe 40 bucks on it. And Netflix pretty much the exact same case here. Uh, this 362... Pulled off super hard at the open. Made a nice little pullback here. Came back to uh, just a previous point from yesterday. It's not like a low a day or anything, but it is a support zone, and it was acting like it, so I wanted to trade off of it. So got up to it once. No, that's not it. What am I looking at? We're here at about 362, so it came up and it just touched the 362. Just to make sure I'm matching up here. Yeah, about 361.70-ish. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're consolidating underneath it. So, I mean, the trade is absolutely here. Uh, took a short. Has it failed and got under? I think this was just a uh, starting short here. Just 50 bucks, 50 shares. Made a new low, made a new high. Uh, but as soon as that failed again, wanted to add some more. Ended up selling off a little bit. Uh, just kind of got stuck at this 360 here. Bounced all the way back here uh, through the squeeze candle that the SPY was making. But uh, I stuck with the stop loss on it. Ended up getting all the way up to 361 and then poked up above and then came right back down again. So, I mean, that's the whole reason I took this other trade here on Netflix because the entire time the spy's moving up here, Netflix just looking weaker and weaker. But looks like it's finally uh, busting out here, looking a little more strong. But it's so late in the day that 
I don't really have anything to do on it, so as we finish in the day pretty ugly here, these BBY trades are going to be the big thing that I have to go over here as to why I took them. I mean, the rest of the uh, the Fang stock trades were fine. They just, uh, some worked well, some didn't work well. It's just, uh, just the way it is, but it's the BBY that was the ugly one here, so lots to go over it whenever I can, but that'll be it for me today. Thanks for watching. Be back tomorrow.